The Stafford Speedway Weekly Highlights are presented by GAF Roofing. 32 strong, 12 laps to go as the field comes off of turn four. Tyler Chapman, last week's winner. In fact, he's won the last three SK Light points paying events. Leads the field into turn number one. Battle is already a battle for second. Megan Fuller stuck in the outside lane. That will move in to contend to the bottom of the racetrack. They come off turn number four. Nicholas Hovey has moved in. He is now setting in second. Alexander Pearl. Goff goes around in the 07. Also Wade Gagner, a heavy hit to the outside wall in turn four. Window net is down, but a tough hit for Wade. And look at the front end of that machine. Matthews battling Pearl for third behind them as they're in turn four. Checkered flag is about to wave back in winning form again. Tyler Chapman will take down the win, finishing in the runner-up position. Brian Sullivan, Matthews will finish among the top three. 20 cars set to go. Green flag is up, and it is Daniel Chuck to lead the field into turn number one for the first time. Daniel Chuck digs in deep on the bottom of the racetrack. Trying to hold on, but moving to the inside. It is Burt Ouellette. Leaders closing in on some of the slower lap cars, led by Chris Daniel Chuck, who has the top spot. Everybody else squeezing around from fifth on back. Ryan Waterman moves into the top five as we have a battle for the lead. Here's Burt Ouellette to the inside of Daniel Chuck for the top spot. Waterman now is fifth in car number 71 or 75. Between first Trouble and second. Three, one car around and into the outside wall. It's the 55, the Brandon Warren machine. Burt Willett, race leader, Travis Hydar in the second spot. Obviously, it would be a big win for Travis Hydar tonight, currently tied with Kyle Casagrande as the all-time win leader in this division, looking to solidify that number one spot here this evening as he takes the race lead from Burt Willett with less than five laps to go. In the eighth position. Trouble turn one, one car goes around. It looks like it is Daniel Chuck. Solo spin, may have had a little help. Let's see if he can get that car fired up. Coming off of turn four, caution comes out. White flag is out. Nobody is surrendering among the top three. Bertolette moves in. Back bumper of Travis Hydar at the point. Waterman on the outside. Lap car in the way. Bottom of turn three. Here comes Waterman, Kyle. Off the turn. Travis to the inside. They're side by side. The fans are standing. Waterman loosens up. Travis Hydar will take down the win. Bertolette will finish in second. Jeff Aslan to finish in third as it is getting heated and the double greens come out and it looks like Gary, Gary Patnode. Patnode was a little bit. Oh, and now Hammond goes around after the caution. Car 28 oh. and others may have had some contact. Cars bouncing off each other trying to get woed up. Better start as they get to the line with Serdell by a car length to turn one. Winter slamming the door on Paradise for the four spot. Some contact there. Hammond in third. We've got a car crossed up, spins to the grass. Looks like it might be Dana Ray in the 42. We'll see if she can get that car fired back up. Another one of the Monday night Wild Thing cart graduates. Nope. And now and we have a fire on the Jensik car off of turn two. So an issue on the 23 of Jensik. Here comes Winter peeking to the inside in that 74 car for second. Winters went from the outside lane to the inside. He gets down underneath and around and goes Hammond goes and around. Hopkins. Winter on his back bumper. Here comes Rich Hammond. Hammond in 28, putting up a fight to the inside of Winter now for fourth. Paradise solidifies the third spot for now. Hammond goes deep into the corner, gets sideways through the grass, oh. and around he goes in the 28 after battling with Winter for position number four. Into turn number three for the final time, looking for his first win in many a seasons. Car number 83, R.J. Serdell takes the checkered flag in the limited late model feature. Double greens are flying in the air. Alexander Fern with Tommy Fern on the outside. Tommy Fern quickly moves to the front of the class, but look out, here comes Alexander Fern. Remember a week ago, 
Tremendous move she made down into turn number three. She's digging in hard, forcing Tommy Fern up the hill. Brand new leader at the line, Alexander Fern. Alexandra to the point will lead lap number one. Tom Fern topside, and they are actually pulling away while racing side by side from the for the lead from the rest of the field. Andrew Duran, Bobby Sturt, third and fourth, but it is Alex Fern taking the top spot in front of the field in car 12. You mentioned Tom Butler. He's caught in that outside lane. Meyer made the pass for fifth, oh. and now comes together with Wayne Corey up in turn three. Corey to the inside, Butler to the outside lane. Butler in the wall in car number four. Sturt now challenges Fern. Here's the challenge for the lead. Duran to the inside of Alex Fern. Alex goes topside, Duran to the bottom. Fern trying to get that 12 car back to the bottom as Chris Meyer tries to fill that gap on the inside up the back straightaway. Back in the seventh and eighth position now. Duran, still the leader of the pack. And Sturt comes oh, together trouble. with Alex Fern in turn one, and around goes Fern. Two races already held this season, gets out of shape there in turn number three while challenging for third. Slides up the racetrack, still digging hard to the inside of Meyer. And here's the battle for the lead. Gamba Corda to the inside of Durand in turn two. New leader looking to go two in a row is Kevin Gamba Corda in car number 23. He does it with, uh, with style and finesse. Looking for two in a row in car 23. Off turn number four. Double checkers are out. Kevin Gamba Corda, defending champion, takes down the win. Great run for Paul Varecchio. Same can be said about Chris Myers to finish in third. This is the SK Modified Division. They rumble to the line. Double greens are in the air. Brian Narducci digging in hard on the bottom. Austin Beers on the outside. Second time for Beers in this race car. Deep into turn number two. Hodgson back up to second. Trouble he turn number one. It looks like it's the 23 of Prucker that has gone around along with Rose in the 62. One other car involved. Caution does come out that Sandberg in the 27. And the number 63 car was able to make it on by inside of that second row. Trouble, oh, straight trouble. Away. they pile up here. Noah Corner got a piece of it, along with Flamia in the 63. Ethan DeRocher was involved. Rose that you were just talking about involved as well. And the number 51 car. Moeller puts the petty cash machine on the podium into the third spot. Here comes Rocco. Patented move. Car turn number three. Brand new leader emerges. Keith Rocco, but here comes Narducci with a crossover. Back to the inside for Narducci into turn number one to complete lap number four. Rocco led last time by Narducci to the inside. Then it's Moeller trying to take third away from Hodgson. Chapman is up there as well in card number 14, running in fifth. They come back to the stripe. Leader still remains Narducci. Behind him, Moeller. Marcelo front straight away. Flannery in the grass. He's okay. Keeps the car from spinning, but will fall to the tail end of the field. Battle for the lead in turn three. Rocco out of line. Rocco, when given the opportunity, heaven knocks in turn three. But off turn number four, Narducci can do the crossover. Brian Narducci tries to take it back. Now watch turn number three. Moving right into contend. Tap to the back bumper. Andrew Moeller off the turn. Narducci gets the lap, holds on at the line. 10 down, 30 to go. Incredible racing once again at the front of the field with the SK Modifieds. Brian Narducci at the point. Rocco in second. Rocco back at a line. Back to the inside in turn three. This time Narducci slams the door and will maintain the top spot. Contending at the bottom of the top 10. Bissett is working his magic. Remember, Bissett in the 21. That car comes to life at about the three-quarter mark new, of the event. New leader in turn three. Rocco back to the inside, back to the front of the field. Here comes Narducci to return the favor in turn number one. Brian Narducci to the inside, this time in the corner. Drag race up the back straightaway, just in front of Andrew Moeller in third. Andrew Moeller tries. It's pick and choose time. He selects the correct lane. For him, it is the bottom. 
almost like we called it on cue. Bissette goes to the outside of Mikey well, trouble Flynn. Turn one, one car, now three become collected, including Kurt Brainerd and the seven of Jonathan Puglio. The Island Cove Marina machine. Battling with Bissette, now Bissette. Oh, trouble. trouble. Straight away, a couple cars get collected. Mike Christopher Jr. being one of them. Todd, Todd Owen, Owen also involved in turn three, car number 81. Narducci to lead the field into turn number one. Narducci doing a good job, but here comes Bissette. Wound up tight on the outside lane. Bissette, big ponies, big horsepower. Just as impressive as Narducci. Here comes Corey DiMatteo, almost three wide. They come back to the stripe. Narducci. Somehow, some way, and here comes Corey DiMatteo. Bissette gets shuffled back to the bottom of the top five. Falls into the fifth spot and in jeopardy of losing that as Corey DiMatteo gets a great run up the back straight away through three and four and goes to the front of the field for Corey DiMatteo in car number 11. Corey DiMatteo looking for back-to-back -back victories. He's driven to the front of the class, but with him comes Troy Talman. Talman, oh, a big shot to the back bumper by Narducci. That upsets Corey DiMatteo, and here comes Troy Talman. Where did Troy Talman come from? Back to the front of the field for car number three. The two winners this season in the first two races are now one and two with Narducci in third. Here comes Corey DiMatteo, run up the back straight away. We'll try to carry it into turn three. Cannot make a move until they get to four. Little contact among the race leaders. They're okay, down to the stripe with two laps to go, and they are side by side for the race lead. No question about it. Corey DiMatteo, Troy Talman, two of the best in the SK division. Deep in a turn number three. Side by side, wheel to wheel. They come off turn number four. White flag is out. Corey DiMatteo is back in the lead, but here comes Troy Talman. Talman in the outside lane. DiMatteo to the bottom. It's DiMatteo by a car length. Up the back straight away for the final time. Here comes Troy Talman giving him a shot into turn three. He taps the back bumper off turn number four. Corey DiMatteo back to back wins here at Stafford. Troy Talman, great run to finish in the runner up spot. Andrew Moeller to finish among the top three. It's feature event number two on the night for the SK Light Modifieds, and they go under the green flag with Frank Latwell leading the field into turn number one. Peter Bennett in that second spot in the orange, number 50, and Megan Fuller advances into the third spot in car number two. Megan Fuller moving into the third spot. Peter Bennett makes a bid underneath Frank's number 88 car, and now Brand new leader emerges, Peter Bennett. But the moment for Tyler Alkis off of turn four, they had to go three wide below him, but he was able to keep it off the outside wall, but just by a bit, lost several spots. Is a battle for the lead in turn three. Here comes Megan Fuller, picked up her first three win wide. in this division last year. Looking for a win here tonight to the inside of Peter Bennett. Megan Fuller challenging for the top spot in turn two. Megan Fuller has done it. She's moved into the number one spot. Paula Root off the pace, off of turn two and up the oh, back trouble. straight away. Down the back straight away. We've got two cars making contact. That's Joey Farino and I think Matt Brewer in the 51. Farino in the 87. Farino got off to a tough start initially on the start. He came up to about 75. Yes, it is the 51 car. Chris Matthews digging in hard in the upper lane. Fastest lap of the event in six, just turned by Matthews. But Megan Fuller continues to work her magic on the inside lane. Side by side, wheel to wheel. Rub rail to rub rail. Megan Fuller not giving up they come off the turn timing and scoring shows that chris matthews had it by a chrome horn megan fuller oh a bit out of shape and in turn number two they get together hubby goes around pearl becomes involved others come steaming in and the caution is out with five cars up in turn number two last circuit 0.256 here he comes 
goes to the high line. Matthews guards the inside lane. Here comes Chapman up in the outside groove. Matthews comes up about half a lane, doing everything he's supposed to. Here comes Chapman on the bottom. Matthews, 17 of 20, now complete. Matthews is no doubt going to make it difficult for him. Guarding the inside lane, Tyler Chapman trying to build a run. Matthews disrupting that run every time by. Off of turn four they come, looking for the white flag. One lap to go. Will it be Matthews? Will it be Chapman? Maybe Sullivan. We'll see as they go to the corner for the final time. Slipped up the racetrack just a bit. That gives Chapman the advantage. Chapman takes over the lead. Matthews right there behind him. Lapped automobile. They come off turn number four. Chapman has done it. Matthews will finish in second. Brian Sullivan for third. 